Good morning friends. In my last lecture, we have seen the conditions suitable for titrimetry. The next lecture is for types of titrimetry. We have seen yesterday an introductory part of types of titrimetry. Once again, I will show you titrimetry is of basically four types. Neutralization titrimetry, precipitation titrimetry, complexometric titrimetry and redox. We can also call them as Neutralization titration or acid base titration, precipitation titrations, complexometric titration and redox titration. Now your neutralization titrations are further divided into acidimetry and alkalimetry. All right. Now moving on to neutralization titrations. Neutralization reaction is a reaction in which acid reacts with the base or vice versa to form salt and water. For example, I will take a very simple example as HCl reacts with NaOH to form NaCl plus H2O. This is a neutralization reaction. Now here acid reacts with base to form salt and water and here the indicators used are acid base indicator. For example, you can always use phenolphthalein or you can use methyl red, methyl orange, these are the indicators to be used. Now if you don't have indicator, you can always go for instrumental methods for the determination of end point or equivalence point like conductometry, potentiometry etc. Now coming to the next thing then what is acidimetry and what is alkalimetry. First of all we will see acidimetry. It is the titration of free base free base or the, those formed by from the salt of weak acid by hydrolysis with strong acid. Got it? Means it is the titration of free base with strong acid. Now free base you can also get from the salt, salt of weak acid by hydrolysis. All right. So acidimetry is nothing but it is the titration of free base with a sorry standard acid solution here you have to say standard acid solution. Alkalimetry here exactly opposite thing is there it is the titration of free acid or 
इट सॉल्ट फॉर्म्ड बाय द हाइड्रोलिस ऑफ वीक बेस विथ स्टैंडर्ड बेस क्लियर सो एल्कलीमेट्री इन एल्कलीमेट्री यू आर टाइट्रेटिंग फ्री एसिड विद अ स्टैंडर्ड बेस इन एसिडीमेट्री यू आर टाइट्रेटिंग फ्री बेस विद अ स्टैंडर्ड एसिड नेक्स्ट इज precipitation titration here in this titration the analyte react with the reagent to form a sparingly soluble salt this could be understood by a very simple example when you are having a chloride ion solution and slowly from the burette you are adding agno3 that is silver nitrate agcl precipitate out say we are taking nacl solution only then agcl precipitates out plus you will get nano3 this agcl is sparingly soluble salt all right so here you need to have the indicator such as adsorption indicator and secondly or the indicator which changes the color with the amount of precipitate that you can use all right so this was about the precipitation titration next is complexometric titration here in complexometric titrations you are using the metal ion or metal ion is titrated with edta that is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid disodium salt of edta is generally used now these are complexometric titration why because a complex is formed there now in this complexometric titration we will be using metallochromic indicators like erichrome black tea all right so in complexometric titration the complex is formed in the ratio 1 is to 1 and we have uh, here the complex should be soluble all right and definitely it will have color uh, with the indicator different color with the indicator so at equivalence point the color changes you can easily decide the end point <coughs> next is redox titration redox titration here the oxidation number or the oxidation state changes of reagent or and analyte changes generally 
the common oxidizing agents are used and common reducing agents are used so common oxidizing agents are K2Cr2O7 that is potassium dichromate KMnO4 that is potassium permanganate then we have seri cerium 4 sulfate iodine etc and reducing agents are SN2 compounds all right besides this you have thiosulfate solution now see redox titration using iodine can be classified into two redox titration using iodine can be classified into two iodimetry and iodometry iodimetry is called as direct titration direct titration means what here you fill in your burette the iodine solution and <coughs> your analyte is taken and using indicator you can directly titrate the solution with iodine here the formation of iodide ion takes place whereas iodometry is indirect titration here you are using iodide ion solution to which you add your reagent and the iodine which is liberated is titrated this iodine is titrated titrated using indicator all right so here generally the redox indicators are used redox indicators for example you can always use ferroin indicator diphenylamine indicator The example of iodimetry you can always consider as uh, estimation of vitamin C here. Alright, so this is all about the types of titrimetry, what kind of re reagents are used, what kind of indicators are used. In my next lecture, we will see about the calibration of the volumetric apparatus which we are going to use because see, in titrimetry, major two things are required volumetric apparatus as well as the standard solution so we will see about how which what kind of volumetric apparatus we are going to use and how to calibrate them